Hey guys, it's Randy with Lobuck LS here again. And uh, in this episode, we're gonna go back and have another look at idle tuning um, after a cam swap. So um, if you've been following my channel, you know a couple months back, I did a cam swap on my uh, little Chevy truck. Um, and I went, at the time I went through a couple videos of uh, getting the idle dialed in. And it works pretty good for the most part. Um, works fine when it's warm. And I think I've got like the, the running airflow, uh, desired airflow table pretty well dialed in. But uh, the issue I'm having is uh, when it's cold, like right now it's been sitting for uh, 24 hours. So um, what happens, it'll start okay and it'll uh, run fine and park. But as soon as I shift it into gear, the desired airflow basically drops to zero and the engine dies. So. Um, we're gonna hook up the, the scanner and uh, log some channels and see if we can figure out what is causing that desired uh, airflow to drop to zero when I put it into gear. And like I said, it only happens when it's cold. Um, like even after the truck's been running, you know, sometimes a minute or two, the engine warms up enough that it will uh, um, not have that problem and it'll stay running when I shift it into gear but um, it's just initially when it's cold so that makes me think it might be some table that's related to like engine coolant temperature or something like that but anyways we'll hook up the scanner here and see what we can see um, but first I just wanted to say thanks um, we passed the 800 subscriber mark on the channel so um, Thanks a lot for all you guys who are watching and subscribing and commenting and uh, yeah, I appreciate that. And uh, been busy moving. Um, if you guys see, I've got, I'm in a new uh, shop here, or garage I guess, it's in front of my house. But uh, so now that we're done with that transmission rebuild and uh, done with moving, we can get back to making videos and hopefully get this truck dialed in and get it out to the track and uh, I'm still shooting for that goal of running uh, 1150s in the quarter mile with it. So uh, now we'll hop in the truck and uh, get our HP tuners fired up and uh, I'll see if I can demonstrate that problem for you where, like I said, it starts up fine when it's cold, runs fine in park, but as soon as I shift it into gear, it uh, desired airflow drops to zero and the truck dies. So. We'll do that now. All right, we're in the truck. Got my tuning partner here with me. Um, so first, I'll show you guys my uh, running airflow table here. So right now, the temperature is between zero and twenty degrees. So in park, it should be calling for about twenty uh, grams per second of airflow, and in gear, it should be calling for it'll interpolate between these two tables but so it should be calling for between 38 and 40 um, grams per second so now we'll uh, switch over to the scanner and start logging so I'm basically logging everything that's related to uh, idle airflow and then I'm also logging the uh, um, IAC stepper motor position um, and you'll see like I was talking about once I start the truck this idle desired airflow it'll be um, correct when it's in park but then when I shift to uh, reverse or drive uh, it basically drops to zero and the truck dies so I'm hoping that by logging all these other parameters here I can see what is actually uh, causing that to uh, pull its airflow? So, I'll try to start up the truck now and we'll see what happens. But first, I gotta start logging here. So, we're logging. So, we can see right now it's calling for 31.27 grams per second. So, 
start the truck and see what happens. So it starts fine. Uh, you can see it's going for 24. So I'm just going to shift it into gear. And I actually wasn't yet, yeah, but you can see there on our idle airflow it basically dropped to next to zero and killed the engine so I'll shift back to park here and we'll try it again so I'm gonna walk closer this time so yeah I'm not sure what I'm still not seeing like my short-term trims and long-term trims are all good so that basically tells me my running airflow table is good so I'll try it one more time here Yeah, as soon as I shift into gear, that idle desired airflow drops to the point where the truck can't run anymore. So now I'm going to watch these numbers down here. Um, I'm going to try it again, and I'm going to watch these numbers right here and see if one of them is uh, affecting our airflow. So startup airflow, that's normal, and it tapers. Yeah, none of those are uh, affecting anything, so I'm not sure what to uh, try here, but let me stop scanning here and I'll save the log. And I think I'm just going to post this video on a couple forums and uh, um, actually I'll flip the camera around here and chat with you guys a little bit. Yeah, so basically I'm... Uh, Kind of out of ideas right now on what is causing that uh, desired idle airflow to drop to zero and and kill the engine so um there's a couple things basically i'm gonna um take this video and post it on the hp tuners uh, facebook group and see if anybody has any ideas on there and then there's a couple other things um there's another channel on here called Goat Rope Garage and he's a pretty experienced tuner guy and he's got a Patreon deal on his channel so basically if you pay 15 bucks a month you have access to him and uh, he can answer uh, tuning questions and review your tune and stuff so um, I subscribed to his channel and uh, became a member of his Patreon there so um, yeah, if, if you like my channel, uh, you'll love his for sure. So go check his channel out. I'll put a link down in the description. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to take advantage of that uh, 15 bucks I'm paying and uh, um, send him the uh, tune and uh, see if he has any ideas. And then there's another service. Um, one of the places where I've learned a bunch of this HP tuner stuff is... Uh, there's a website called Evans Performance Academy, and he has good videos on uh, not just HP tuners, but a whole different, a bunch of like engine tuning softwares that I've never even heard of, but he covers the HP tuners uh, stuff pretty good. So, um, and it's another, it's a membership deal. And I think now he's offering courses that you can just buy individually and not pay the monthly membership. but. Um, that's another site I'm a member of and there's also a, a forum on there so I'll post this up in there and see if anybody has any ideas and uh, we'll take it from there so this is a short one and, and didn't solve the issue but basically I'm just asking for help so uh, thanks for watching we'll talk to you on the next one